Does this mean that you want to come with me to Paris? If I'm still invited. Maggie, are you sure? I know. I know that I am confused about a lot of things. But one thing I know for sure. I don't want to be in Pine Valley if you're not here. Okay, I'm getting a less than thrilled vibe here. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's not it at all. I'm, um, I'm just confused. I mean, a couple hours ago, you told me that you absolutely positively could not come with me. Yeah, I know, how stupid was that? You said you needed to raise your GPA and get, and get your life back. How about push you away? Did I ever mention that? And that's what I've been doing for months. And this would be the biggest push of all. And then you'd be gone, and I still would never know. You wouldn't know what? Anything. Who I am, what I'm doing. When I say goodbye to you tonight, it hit me. If I let you walk out of my life, it could be the biggest mistake I ever make. You're not gonna lose me. No matter where I am, you're always gonna be a part of my life. It's so easy to say, but it never works like that. You know that. Any kind of long-distance relationship never You don't works. have to turn your whole life upside down and keep me as a friend. Maybe you haven't realized, but my life is already upside down. I just want to get my feet back on the ground. I want to get my balance. The truth is, Bianca, that I do want to go with you to Paris. I want to go with you so badly. I'm scared to death. I'm so scared. I don't know how long it's going to take me to figure out myself again. Which gets all over the way that I feel about you. The one thing that I did figure out is that everything that happened with Jonathan messed up enough of my life. And I don't want it to ruin anything else. I've told you once before, and I love you. And I always try to take it back. I don't want to do it this time. I love you. Maggie, I think it's too late for us to be anything but honest with each other. I just can't stand an ocean between us. I love you so much. I'm just not sure how. It's okay. You've been through something pretty awful this year. You're just not ready for anything major. But maybe I never will be. I don't know if this is just the most incredible kind of love that I feel for you or the most incredible kind of friendship. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gay or if I'm straight or... It's okay. You'll figure it out. I'm just afraid of hurting you. Because what if you think that something's gonna happen and then something never will? I would never put any pressure on you. I know, I know. I was thinking that maybe we just, you know, we just don't get involved right away and then you know, wait for me to figure out what I want to do with myself and what am I doing? You see, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I tell you that I love you and that I want to go with you to Paris and then I slam on the brakes again. You know, you could throw me oh, off the plane. Okay. I throw myself off the plane. Stop. Is that we're going to be taking off soon. Last chance to leave without a parachute. I want to know what... I want to know what you think. You're not the only one who's confused here. 
I think I have a lot to figure out as well. And of course, Miranda is priority number one. Yes, of course. We've both been through a lot this year. And I think that it's going to take some time for us to, what did you say, get our balance back? But who better to do that with than my best friend? That's all I expect from you. And we can do it in the most beautiful city in the world with culture and art and gourmet cuisine. <laughs> and if somewhere down the road, something happens, it's great. <laughs> but if not, then I'm cool with that too. We can just be friends. It's enough for me. Me too. So, is there anything else you want to tell me? I think I covered it all. <laughs> me too. Last chance. You gotta have a passport if you're coming. <laughs> for the day that you asked me. <laughs> Luggage? <laughs> Too late for that. I didn't even pack it too much. <laughs> All right, then. When we get to Paris? Sh shopping? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Paris. <laughs> We're going to Paris. <laughs> so what do you think, little munchkin? Huh? You, me, and your mom. A little stroll on the left bank. Check out the Jeans Elysees. Go look at all the artists up on the Pont Neuf. I will actually learn how to say all those words. I'm sure she'll love it. I know I will. Oh, one little thing. You know the Paris is a very chic place, and I don't think they're gonna let you in with that on. <laughs> Well, somebody real special gave it to me. I'll take my chances. Ms. Montgomery, if you and your friend will buckle up and secure Miranda, we're clear for takeoff. I'll put her down. OK. daytime history when she kissed Bianca Montgomery on All My Children. Now that this super couple has left the show together, fans are wondering, will they live happily ever after? Take a look. Last chance. You gotta have a passport if you're coming. Yeah, we'll go get what you prepared. I applied for it the day that you asked me. Luggage? Too late for that. I didn't even pack it too much. <laughs> All right, then. When we get to Paris? Sh shopping? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Paris. <laughs> We're going to Paris. <laughs> Please welcome back Elizabeth Hendrickson. <laughs> I forget. You're like the cutest little thing. Really? I thought I got taller. What happened? Well, well, my friend stretched me out the other night. No? Darling, though. No, it's all good. It's all good. So congratulations. Thank big you. move out here. Yeah. yeah. Big deal. Yeah. How do you feel? You've never lived outside of New York. I've never lived outside of New York. Even when I went to college, I went to school in Syracuse. So I was six hours away from home. And my entire family is on the East Coast. That's huge. Yeah. That's a it big is move. huge. Yeah. It's a huge really move. Huge. But um, this is the first time. I, I had the choice to do this before I started All My Children uh -huh. when I had left school. 
and um, I'm so happy that I waited. It feels so right oh, right yeah. now. Yeah. I, and and I, I'm so happy to leave the bad weather. <laughs> yeah, well, you come out here and the sun's yeah, shining. Right. Yeah. And... Now, I heard you had a hard time on the plane out here. I did. What, what was you know, that about? I was in such denial about... I wasn't emotional. I, I was great in the last couple months. Oh, I was, I'm going. Yeah. I was in a whole new right. place Focusing in my life. Focusing on the positive. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, it was so great. And then all of a sudden, the it came down to the last day, the last few hours, and uh, my four closest friends from New York City sent me off from my apartment, and my parents came to pick me up at the apartment. My parents have never... My stepfather left work and came to get me. I mean, this was a big oh, deal that they all took off work to come take me to the airport. I was yeah. taking a cab there. You know, I'm a big girl. I can handle it myself. Sure. And um, they came, and my friend sent me off, and everyone was crying, and it was horrible. I got to the airport. My mom was in hysterics. My stepfather was crying. I put my dog off. I brought my dog. Yeah. And she, I have to put her off in the cage, and, and she's all drugged. She's all drunk, and like, oh. you know. And she couldn't stand up, and I had to put her underneath this cargo. So between that and my parents, and I looked like such... I, 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 I don't even know what I look like that <laughs> And I... So I'm sitting on the plane, and I'm just beside myself, mid-flight, I break out into tears. Good, that's a good oh. thing. You needed to release it. Yeah. Well, I've been holding it in yeah. this whole yeah. time. I'm telling yeah. you, I was in denial, and, and then all of a sudden, it was, I, I just let it out, and I didn't stop for like six hours. Oh, good. Yeah. That's good. And then you landed. Yeah. Perfect. And then I landed, <laughs> and then I was happy. Good. Yeah. Now, what is it that you'd like to have happen? What would you like to do? I mean, please, put yeah. it out there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want my own show. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, what is that? <laughs> in prime time. Okay, so what, what does that show look like? Do you want a drama? Do you want a sitcom? I would love to do a sitcom. I would love to just be myself and be bubbly and fun and stupid and, you know. Yeah. Yeah. After all this heavy abuse. It was a heavy yeah. storyline. Now, did you have any second thoughts when you saw that storyline come down? Because you had already announced you were going to leave before the abuse storyline? No, or? I found out the day that um, I found out that I was leaving was the exact day that I had five scripts at my door. Aww, oh, hi, so baby. Me, I think there's a friend oh, here. Oh, we're early. Hi. Oh, is she cute? <laughs> oh, oh you my goodness. Hello, hello. I don't care about your abuse storyline. I'm coming on TV. That was an early yeah, I know that. Hi. I know that. Yes, it's okay. We're no, excited. No. Here, Nessie, calm down. Sit. Now, where did you get her? Hey, come on, sit. Be a good girl. Show how good you are. Sit. Good girl. Oh. Sit. No, no, no. Sit. Here. She's confused. No. This is my puppy. She's so beautiful. What's her name? Her name is... Her name is Nessie. Nessie? Um, as in Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> I took her off the street of the Dominican Republic. Really? Yeah. yeah. This summer, on my birthday, I went there for my birthday. Come here. She just came up to you on the street? And... No, my friend found her. He was working on a film there. Yeah. and oh, she's um, pretty. Isn't she? Yeah, she's, she's beautiful. She's, she's got this weird mix. She's got this yeah. greyhound and this sort of shepherd thing. <laughs> like, oh, what's well, going on? Well, that's nice. That's me. You're, you're not here by yourself. No, this yeah. is the best thing. If you can have it. Oh, oh yes. Woo, woo. She's very talkative. If you can get an animal, if you don't have an animal, they are the best companions. They are. Yeah. Better than boyfriends. Or girlfriends. <laughs> they have husbands or wives. No, oh, wait a minute. I always that. have her in my bed waiting I for agree. me. I agree. I think at your stage and your age and everything, it's perfect to have a dog. It's wonderful. It's good practice. Yeah. It's All right, well, practice. we're going to take a quick break. We will be right back with more Elizabeth Hendrickson. <laughs> we're back with Elizabeth Hendrickson. Now, we're going to talk a little bit yes. about just the departure from All My Children, mm -hmm. which obviously everybody's very, very sad to see you guys leave. Mm -hmm. When I say yeah. you guys, I'm saying it's both true. you and Eden Regal, you, you left together at the same time. How much did your departure have to do with Eden Regal's departure? Well, what had happened was that I knew that she, when she was leaving, and I really could not. I really sat down and thought about it, and I really could... I just like <laughs> Yeah. We were just hanging out last night. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, so you knew she was out here. Okay. I knew she was well, out here. You didn't know here, she was right? at Sonsal. She was coming here. Because you were like best friends. <laughs> exactly. All the time. Yeah, I'm sorry to you tell you. To I know. You lied to me. Yeah, you also so just moved. What are you doing tomorrow? Uh, you know. I'm busy. Cleaning, I got to clean yeah. the closet, you know. <laughs> Well, she was just yeah, saying yeah. how, I mean, it was very important for both of you to leave together. Why was it so important for you guys to leave Because together? we love each other. Aww. 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 Yeah, and because Maggie and Bianca love each other, yes. too. And I was really hoping that if, if they gave me that opportunity, I was really hoping that they would, we would finally get what we've always wanted, was to be together. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we got a taste of it, and I think that the, the ending was beautiful and yeah. hopeful and very we both, special. we both, like, formed a really special bond with each other on screen and off, and I don't think the place would have been the same for either of us mm. with one of us gone. Yeah. It was just... You know, it's just something that we've always shared. So, since she came on the show, it's just, it's just been... It's been amazing to be able to like work with my best friend and and you know be with my best friend all the time and and to do this this move right. with her oh, is like, so great. Oh my God, it's, it's like so such a great. support. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really so great. great. It's amazing. It's so great. Now, Eden, I'm sorry. Eden, when did you when did you get out here to LA? How long ago have you been? Oh oh, I just I got here like. Two days ago, I was actually I was supposed to be out a day a day prior, but um, uh, Susan Lucci got together a bunch of the the cast members from All My Children, and they threw me like a, a huge surprise farewell party oh. that I was completely not expecting. It was like the first time I'd ever been surprised by anything <laughs> in my life. She was just gonna have like a quiet dinner for me, she claimed in Garden City oh. the, night, the, the night that I was gonna leave. And she's like, "Are you still gonna be in town?" I was like, "Well, when Susan Lucci invites you to dinner, you don't, yeah. you don't say no." So I was like, sure, Susan, I'm gonna be here. Oh. Um, and uh, Cameron picked me up, and it was just gonna be. Cameron and Vanessa, his wife, and Helmut and, and Susan and the Garden City Hotel, except that, you know, Susan was running late, and so we, on our way out there, uh, Cameron was, uh, Cam Cameron got lost, and he, you know, forgot something at home, <laughs> and all this stuff. Turned out that he was just postponing, 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 you know, um, because nobody was there yet. Um, oh, and so, and so we were just gonna supposedly because Susan wasn't dressed yet, just have drinks, at, at, to have like a, a glass of champagne at her house before dinner. And I walked in and Susan hopped out and said, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I, and I looked at her and I was like, well, you look great, you know? <laughs> and, and she was dressed, which was certainly a surprise because I thought she was still in her house coat. And uh, she seemed really excited Does about Susan something. Does ever wear a house coat? <laughs> I don't know how that happens. I love that, that she picture. Seemed, she seemed really Right. Like, like she seemed really happy about something and like really proud. And I was looking at her, going, "This is so charming and a little awkward," um, <laughs> because I I didn't know what the hell she was talking about. And then and then she looked off to the side and off to the other side, and people started pouring out into her foyer. Oh, that's and it great. was it rather was than amazing. having everyone come out. <laughs> I wasn't there. I left that evening. Oh, uh, she didn't miss it. I tried to switch my flight because I was bringing my dog. It was a big old mess, so I couldn't do it. But, but it was okay. it was amazing, and nobody has been more blessed with closure than the <laughs> two of us. I mean, the the way that they wrote our departure. Yeah, were you happy with show. the way the writers finally? Uh, oh wrote my it off? God, it was it was incredible. It was really really emotional it for was for really the emotional. for both of us because. Um, it, 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 it was farewell, and I was really saying farewell to my friends and loved ones and family. Um, so, so we've been we've been yeah. kind of emotionally she raw. Even, she got a, a, even on the show. They had a going away party for her at at Erica's penthouse and each of us had something to say to her mm. and how special and it was so it was so wonderful because everything that came out of everyone's mouth you could just. It was from their heart and from their so gut, sincere. and it was so sincere and beautiful, yeah. and it, it was very special. So after, you know, every day we just get to oh see. My God. Well, she was worse than I. Like I said, I was in denial, we were, and she just, every, uh, yeah. Oh my she God! Was but but I mean, it was just, it was such a beautiful thing, uh, gift for Susan to have given me to have this opportunity to just talk to some of my closest friends, and it wasn't just cast members. There were production people there, and Agnes uh, Nixon came, and oh, everything. Wow. And it was huge. Yeah. Um, wow. And uh, and I, it was just. A an opportunity for me to say something special to each person about how I'm going to take them with me in, in my heart and and for them and for us to reminisce about old times and everything and of course we have lots of time <laughs> to do that while we're oh, here yeah. now Eden let's ask you what are you hoping happens what kind of a show do you want what do you want to do oh um well I'd like to play a bad girl all right <laughs>
play a bad girl. Well, she knows me better than You definitely can play a bad girl. You know what? Maybe you and I need to talk on this break, Elizabeth. Hold on. I want to hear all about this. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Coming up next, Eden and Elizabeth reveal what really happened after the... Please. Talk to me. Please open your heart to me. Let me be a friend to you. The way you were always a friend to me. Maybe Jonathan just doesn't love me. Maybe I'm just not lovable. You haven't seen that? It's beautiful. What goes through your mind when you watch yourselves, especially since you're sitting right next to each other? It's kind of awkward. I just, yeah. I just was like, oh, God, I look so tired. <laughs> so funny. We're so joking because everybody else is going, oh, that's such a sweet scene. Oh, yeah. so I got to get so get my oh, oh, I don't remember what happened that day. So it's, you know, it's the, the non-glamorous stuff behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly. Now, tell us about the 30th. 35th anniversary, the big shindig that went down in New York City for all my children. The most magical evening I have. It was probably one of the greatest nights I've ever had in New York oh, it City. Was it was amazing. Let me just say that we have the most talented cast. Extremely talented. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Everybody sings. Sing. I know. More than half of them sing. And really belted out. I mean, yeah, God. we have a Broadway caliber cast. Yeah. I mean, it yeah. was it was phenomenal. And and I got to tell you, it was a really entertaining show. And from the first mm. second to the last, my, my heart was just like pounding. And to get out on that stage and to have such an incredibly responsive audience, because everybody everybody could feel the energy, and all the fans were. Uh, you know, they were unbelievable. I felt like, like a rock star. For, when we first walked right? out, I was like, we're never getting out of here. Because I know. Performance they're song. just going to be, well? oh, yeah. yeah. I, I sang, and then we sang a beautiful song together. Oh, really? Yeah, and we were so nervous because we didn't think that we were going to be able to get through it without crying. Because um, we kept crying in rehearsal. Yeah, because the song is... Because the song is so beautiful. It's from Wicked. It's called For Good. Oh, I love that and, song. Yeah, beautiful. and it's yes. about friend, friendship oh, and how... Chills, chills, oh, chills, chills. Oh, I love... Every single, every, yeah. we, we still get chills. Oh, I mean, even when we were... The, who I am today. Oh, I'm who I am today because, because of, of you. you. I know. It's beautiful. I love Very it. Very pretty. Love it. Was there, was there, I, I want to ask you this, because I know when I left the show, and I'm sure, Lisa, when you left the show, there's always that one moment where you look around and it all hits you. Oh, yeah. And you go, oh, my God, this is for real. I'm really leaving. Yeah. Was there a defining moment for either one of you? You know, there was actually a moment in the show where they're, they're giving a farewell party for Bianca. They made, like, a photo album, and I looked up, and everybody who loves Bianca was standing around with their eyes shining, and, um... And you just, you look at these people and you remember the intense connection that you've had with every single one of them. And I looked around the room and I felt so much love for everybody there. And, and so it's like, it's a wonderful, it's a beautiful thing, it's a wonderful thing, and it's, it's an intensely painful thing mm -hmm. um, to, to say goodbye and to, and to know that they will always be in my life, they will always be a part of my, of my heart, but what we had is behind me now you know it, it that chapter is closed and things yeah. will be different from now on yeah. um and so it's it was it was uh it was a very very hard thing to do i guess i i miss them it's very very deeply very deeply well, speaking of hard things, I hear now you also actually um, actually have to get a driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can I just tell them that last night? She does have a driver's license now. Oh, you did get and it. She got it. But okay, last so week. last night we're ready to go out, and we were wondering <laughs> if you wanted to drive to the apartment. <laughs> and she said, well, I've never driven in the dark, and you come get me. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing, but I was just thinking, you never driven in the dark. <laughs> my my uh, my 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 uh, driver's license is actually like a like it looks like a like a cab receipt, right. and it says Please. and it says that I exhibited poor judgment in turning. <laughs> 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 yes, it 
<laughs> so ghetto. Oh, and I did. I almost turned the wrong way down a one-way street during my road test. Yeah. But I, I did that in New York five years ago. I was ago. a little bit nervous because my lady was so, she seemed so upset at me. Like, she was, like, really, like, like dark. Like, her energy was, she was just, like, yeah. really, like and it was unnerving. That. And then when we got to the end, she printed out my little receipt, and she signed it, and she handed it over to me, and she said, I watch all my children. Yeah. Oh, Changed. She totally funny. melted. Never she wanted to know everything that was going to happen. Oh, so it was, it was really, I don't think, I, didn't, I don't so you think never she would have failed. Gonna fail me. Yeah. <laughs> Frankly. Well, you know, Lisa and I were talking. We see nothing but a huge future for both yeah. of you. You're both really? very glowing lights. You're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. We wish know you that. both the best of luck. Nothing but happiness in your future. And thank you both for coming on. You divorced her. Now that has to sound insane, even to you. It's what she wanted. What she wanted? Kendall has no idea what she wants. Neither do you, but you will. By the time I'm through with you. Did you divorce Kendall because she's carrying Ryan's baby? No. So you're okay with it? If your sister wants to have a baby, yeah, I'm okay with that. But she doesn't want me in her life. I'm out. Because she says so? Okay, here's something that you need to know about my sister. She will say anything to protect herself and, and to keep from getting hurt. Oh, I, I, I took her at her word. Her word? Well, get this, Zach. Kendall's word to me is that she loves you. Well, I know that you're not going to jump up and down or anything, but at least admit that this is good news. You know, there's probably a good reason why Kendall said what she said. But yeah, I... because I wormed it out of her. She's having a hard time right now. She's having the baby. Ryan keeps interfering. She doesn't know what she feels. You and Kendall are both experts at denying your feelings. Although, I could always tell that there was more going on with you whenever you looked at your knees. Mm, I see. And now you're an expert on Kendall's feelings as well. Mm -hmm. Look, of course she's hiding it from you because she doesn't want to get hurt. She doesn't want to set herself up for another fall. But I, I got her to admit the truth. She's in love with you. And this is not my imagination. It's not her hormones talking. This is rock-solid truth. Okay, rock-solid. Good. Oh, all right. Well, maybe she does feel some love. Maybe she does. It makes no difference. Because I gave her the divorce papers, she didn't object. Well, of course not. She was shocked. She was disappointed. She's afraid. And with good reason. I mean, Kendall... It's hard for her to open herself up to love. She doesn't accept it easily. She needs to be convinced that it's the truth. And you just made your job that much harder. Now you got to go after her. You got to find her. And you got to really convince her that you love her. I, I think uh, Kendall's got enough pressure right now, don't you? If you love each other, that doesn't add to the pressure. That relieves it. Believe me, I know. I mean, Maggie and I held out so long, we thought we were going to explode. Well, we're not you and Maggie. It's a little different, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes that I made with Maria. Kendall's nothing like Maria. I know that, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that, but... <sighs> Maria didn't want me in her life. I kept pressuring her, and, and I ruined her life. That's what I did. And now it's Kendall and me, and there's a, a child involved as well. Well, I, I don't want to speak too soon. I don't know how things are going to turn out, but... The way you are with Miranda, I think you'd make a good dad. Your business partner would disagree. If you had been there from the start with Ethan, you would have had a chance. And as for Maria and Kendall, their situations are entirely different. Kendall isn't married to anybody else. She isn't choosing between you or anyone else. She's just afraid. She's af afraid to open herself up to love. She doesn't have a lot of faith in it. But you can change that. You're the only one who can. Will you help me with this? Trust Kendall to ignore decorating for the holidays. She's been a little distracted lately. Yeah, well, it would have done her some good. It's like love. She has no idea how much she needs it. But you know, don't you? 
You need her as much as she needs you. Yeah, well, I can't restore anybody's faith in love. I don't have any myself. So you are perfect for each other. You're both screwed up. Not perfect for anyone. Kendall or anyone else. Uh, well, we're none of us perfect. I'm not perfect. I know from screwed up. Yeah? Well, your head is securely on your shoulders and your heart's in the right place. Now, you went through a lot. I know that even now, dealing with the sharks of Cambius in Europe. Yeah, but I had some help there, didn't I? I mean, I know you've been watching my back. Looking out for the Miranda Center, too. Ah, a few phone calls. Sure. Look, my, my sister can take some unbelievable chances, but never with her heart. She won't risk giving it over to somebody else. Whenever she's had a chance at love, she'll sabotage it. And that lets her stay in control. But her heart still gets broken. It's breaking right now because she doesn't believe you love her. Tell her you love her again. Make her believe it. Kendall and I are, are similar in a lot of ways. You know, and I don't mean in the well-dressed, perfect hair kind of way, but in sabotaging love. I mean, compared to me, she's an amateur. You can get past that. I don't think I can. It's part of who I am. It's what life made me. No, I don't believe that. You can change. You make a choice to change. I had a pretty bad track record, you know, with my dad and Ethan and Maria. And Kendall's got a list just as long. I mean, no wonder you guys are afraid. But if you get together... Then I'd be afraid for Kendall. So I wouldn't just break her heart. Oh, I'd destroy it. All relationships are a risk. Yeah. But you and Maggie, you're really together now, huh? Yeah. Because we realized that it was worth the risk. And we may not last forever, but whether the odds are with us or against us, the payoff is right now because we're happy. And I'm happy for you. You deserve it. So do you. I bet you didn't think you'd be decorating a tree this Christmas. I usually don't. Mm. Some people think it's a lot of work for some stupid holiday, but it just brings me so much joy. I love it. I think it's so beautiful. I love Christmas and all the traditions that go with it. And I think that I would put up a tree even if it only lasted a single night. Sharing joy. No matter how long it lasts. You think Kendall will like it? There's something missing. You're right. Oh, man. It's late, isn't it? I better get home. I gotta get back to Miranda. But, um... Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I think you can handle it from here. <laughs>